Hi, this is Pastor Coy Sampson with the Mace Road Church. Welcome to Psalms 365.1, where we will be praying through the book of Psalms one day at a time, asking God to shape our lives to the truth of Scripture in Christ Jesus, devoting ourselves to the heart of God as revealed to the psalmist by Holy Spirit, and praying the Holy Scriptures back to our Father in Heaven. Hello, welcome to day 209 of Psalm 365.1. And today we're taking a break from the Psalms, looking at prayers from other parts of scriptures. Today we are in Acts chapter 1, verses 24 through 26. And here we have an interesting prayer. Right after the crucifixion of Christ and his resurrection, the disciples had joined together and they were looking to replace Judas, who had, repl- who had betrayed Christ and had hung himself. And now... They were 11 instead of 12. And so they had proposed two. They had proposed uh, Joseph, surnamed Justice, and uh, Matthias. And so they were trying to choose between Justice and Matthias. And they prayed a prayer, and it's it's a great prayer. They prayed, You, O Lord, who knows the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas, by transgression, fell, that he might go to his own place. And they, here's the interesting part. They cast lots and the lot fell on Matthias and he was numbered with the other 11 apostles. And so imagine I as the pastor stood before the church and we were praying about the decision we were going to make. And after we prayed, I said, okay, now we're going to draw straws. Or now we're going to take a raffle to decide which the Lord wants. Or I've got these dice. We're going to roll the dice. And if it's an even number, we'll make this decision. If it's an odd number, we'll make that decision. Or we'll flip a coin. And this is how they were led to do this at the time. After Christ's crucifixion. And they were trying to choose which way should we should go. And... There's such a difference between Acts 1 and how you see decisions and choices and pastoring and preaching and teaching and apostleship and everything after Acts 2. See, before Acts 2, they had received the Holy Spirit. They had received, Christ had breathed on them, said receive the Holy Spirit, and they were waiting though. They were waiting in the upper room until they received power. And the Bible says, Christ told us to wait until the spirit of truth who will lead you in all truth comes. And how can anyone know the mind of God unless they have the spirit of God? And so in the book of Isaiah in chapter 30, verse 21, it says, You will hear the voice in your ears saying to you, this is the way, walk in it. But, and you will then turn, know when to turn to the right or to the left. And at this time, they weren't being instructed or taught or shown by the Holy Spirit, but they were trusting in other things to lead them. They were trusting God to lay the lots out. Now, how they cast lots, I don't know how that went. If they put names in a thing, if they if they put uh, Matthias in one and Justice in another, and they, they shook them together and drawed names out, I don't know how they cast lots. What we know is they rolled the dice. They left it to chance. They trusted the Lord to guide the lots, how they fell. Lord, we're trusting you to, to lead us in how this goes. And there's such a marked difference after Acts 2, and we're, we're going to look at this tomorrow with a prayer tomorrow. There's such a marked difference after they started and were able to allow the Holy Spirit to speak into their hearts, speak into their ears, so to speak, and lead them and guide them in all truth. And this is how it was in the Old Testament when the word of God was with them and the Holy Spirit had come upon people and prophets and kings and rulers and, and judges. In the Old Testament, you see that the, the Holy Spirit would come upon people. And that was the ministry of the Holy Spirit then. He would come upon people where God would speak to the prophets and give them instruction. And when there was no Holy Spirit and when the, the prophets weren't speaking to them and the people had gone away, they cast lots. They, they left it to chance or they had things called Urim and Thummim, which they were like stones that they would... Um, almost like roll the dice with and how they would answer according to that chance is the way they would go. 
We need to hear the voice of God in our life. We must have the Holy Spirit dwelling in our hearts. Christ dwells in us richly by the power of the Holy Spirit. We must be filled with the Spirit of God to know which way to go, to the right or to the left in this life. Any choices we make, we're not to roll the dice. We're not to lead the chance. We're not to draw straws. We're to hear the voice of God through His Holy Spirit helping us and leading us and guiding us in all truth. So Father God, today as we pray through Acts chapter 1, we pray that you would lead us in all truth. Reveal your scriptures to us. Reveal your heart to us. Speak in our ear. Tell us the way we should go and which way we should walk in it. And we won't turn to the left or to the right without clear instruction from you. Help us to hear your voice well and to respond faithfully. To your word. In Jesus' name we pray. As we pray Acts chapter 1, verse 24 through 26. And they prayed and said, O you, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and the apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And then they cast their lots, and the lot fell to Matthew, and he was numbered with the 12 apostles. Father God, we don't trust in, this is the lot that fell to me. This is the hand of cards that was dealt to me. No, we trust in the hand of God who leads us in all truth by your Holy Spirit. Help us to know your heart and your mind by your spirit today. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful. Lead us and instruct us and guide us by your light and your truth, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you. Jesus loves you. Love one another. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.